When a new season is around the corner, I usually stream and watch all of the anime trailers of the new upcoming anime. Now when doing that, I saw two particular animes that caught my eye. The girl I like forgot her glasses and the one with the big cat. Now both of these animes have very very clean looking animation. And I mean really clean. Like stuff that top tier anime studios do. But in addition to the great animation in both of these animes, these animes have really really good backgrounds. Super realistic backgrounds. It almost feels like the backgrounds for these animes are just pictures of real places in Japan. Now as a man who is a big time consumer of anime, I looked through the studio that made both of these animes and wouldn't you know it, it's the same studio, Gohans. In fact, it's actually directed by the same guy, this guy named Yokomine Katsumasa. Yokomine is a relatively new to directing an anime. In fact, this is his first time directing an anime period. He has mostly done key animations for most of his career and well for a first timer, he's created both of these very unique looking animes. Now after watching these trailers, my mind went straight to my upcoming seasonal anime video, right? Surely two of these animes would fit in that video. Well, watching the first episode of both of these animes, I realized that these shows don't feel right. Like sure, in theory, the animation looks really clean. The background looks really realistic. But my brain is telling me, no. This feels off. Both of these shows have very simple anime plots. The girl I like forgot her glasses is a typical boy and girl rom-com. The big cat anime is just an anime with a big cat who takes care of his owners. In all honesty, these two stories don't fit the art style or directing style that these shows has. Even looking at the manga of the girl I forgot her glasses, the manga has a simple lack of detail background art. The reason behind the simplicity is because the main focus of the reader is the interaction between the two characters. It isn't the background, it isn't how good the animation is when they walking up the stairs. The main focus should be animating the goofy stuff. The background and the animation should be complementary to the characters. Both of these shows are meant to be directed in a more simplistic way. I think a great example of this is My Dress Up Darling. The background in My Dress Up Darling is very, very realistic. There's very little details in the background that make it really lovely, but it would be blurred out and don't contrast so much with the characters. It only serves as a literal canvas to Kitagawa Marin. The way Yokomine directed the big cat anime and the anime with the glasses is not a bad way to direct an anime. It's just that this art style is more befitting to a more realistic story. The first thing that came to mind is Sorenin. So the manga Sorenin has a very, very realistic background. Now the reason behind this realism is because the manga is super grounded. It tackles hard hitting questions about life. It covers a cast of characters that are like people, like real people. It's a story that in all honesty could happen in real life. Another great example is Inuyashiki. Now Inuyashiki has an ultra realistic art style. You know, the anime adaptation, Mappa Ruined, but putting Mappa and how they adapt shows besides Chainsaw Man and Jujutsu Kaisen to the side, this manga makes the old man look old. Like, like a typical old man you would see in the street. Frail, sickly, old. Just an old, old man. The realistic style of the manga makes the violent scenes like so brutal. Like it makes the reader gain sympathy for this typical old man you see in the street being the only person who could stop these atrocious sceneries to happen. The way Yotsumene directs animes doesn't only fall to dramatic animes. This can happen to a slice of life anime. A great example is Yotsubato. Now people have been dying for an adaptation of Yotsubato. Yotsubato thrives at its background because its background is very realistic. Incredibly realistic to the point where most of its background feel nostalgic. And it's coming from a guy who hasn't even lived in Japan. What all these three mangas have in common, Soranin, Inuyashiki, Yotsubato, it's all somewhat based in reality. These two animes 
though they might claim that they come from the same reality that we live in, they, they don't. One anime has a seven foot tall, big black cat. The other one has like a super moe, super clumsy anime girl. Like these shows aren't real. We as anime fans know that our waifus aren't real. And I feel like unconsciously, that's why these animes for me just don't feel right. That's why they feel off.